but would you rather just have me show you my- We're gonna have to make a few changes before we get into this one. Most people get rid of clutter for spring cleaning, and I get rid of people. I have a choice. Oh, this got so much more expensive. Well, good thing I have way too much money. I guess in theory we probably could keep a few of these, but I'm not really in the mood for company. And the final divorce, Sandy. That probably cost me over a million gold, and completely worth it. I have no idea how much of this mod I'm even going to be able to show you, but we're going to dive in anyway and just make a big mess of it. And because we haven't yet spent enough money, another 30,000 gold, and they all forget that ever happened. Did I have any kids? I don't actually remember. 20-something spouses, not one of them could produce a child. Well, this one ought to take care of any little fish there are running around in the swamp. And we're going to start this new adventure of ours first thing in the morning. Actually, I lied. I think we're going to bring it back around to spring. Let's go and meet Abigail for the very first time. Please don't make me blur out everything you say. What are you doing here? Looking for a booty call? I figured you would have forgotten about that thanks to the shrine. I guess that's 30,000 gold well spent. But I guess that's just the first bit of dialogue we get. What about you, Gus? Do you forgive me? I'm getting some supplies for the saloon. Here's got the good stuff. I bet he does. That mustache says it all. Luckily for me, I have a convenient little cheat sheet that tells me exactly when she's going to say things. I don't, however, know what she's going to say, so that's always going to be a fun little surprise. And believe me, I'm pretty worried every time I talk to her. Abigail, what are you doing here? Looking for a booty call? Okay, she's still pretty mad about the divorce. You lied to me. 30,000 gold, and it'll take my money again. Do I have to do this for every spouse? Nope, we seem to be over it now. Well, it just isn't one of my videos if everything isn't going horribly wrong. If you see your daughter, would you tell her I need to find her so she can talk dirty to me? Thanks. What are you doing here? Looking for a booty call? Okay, she just won't get over that, so that might be a problem. Thanks to the power of editing, you have no idea how much effort this is actually taking. Abigail? Well, thanks to the giant mess created, I had to start an entire new farm just so I could get new dialogue with Abigail. So hopefully this is worth it at some point, because so far it's not. Now I know we've never met before, but I need you to talk dirty to me. Oh that's right, I heard someone new is moving onto that old farm. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed filming in those overgrown fields for my fans. Oh that's funny, that's the same thing I do. Finally, things are going my way. Today is Wednesday. Pierre's is closed on Wednesdays. But have you ever wondered what actually happens inside on a Wednesday? So have I. So let's take a look. I need to think these ideas through a little better. Leaving nothing to chance today, I'm making my way, well, not into her room, but I'm waiting outside the door because I'm not allowed in yet. And she stopped right there. That will never stop me though, Abigail. What do you got? Ugh, I have a doctor's appointment later. I'm sorry to hear that. Tell him to finish off George though next opportunity he gets. And that's okay, I've got nothing but time for chasing down Abigail's dialogue. Before you get into the kitchen where you eat, wow, I just realized it's Friday. Uh-huh. I should have a lot of viewers tonight. Well, that depends on exactly what kind of dialogue you're going to give me. At this point, let's just say she's a vlogger. You know what? I'm going to wait today. I'm going to wait till you're standing beside your mother to tell me what you have to tell me. Not that she's any better. How's the wizard? The fresh mountain air is nice on a day like this. Maybe I'll take my webcam outside today. Definitely a vlogger. It's confirmed. As always, the NPCs won't really give you a lot of personal information at the lower heart level, so we're going to move her up to about two hearts which requires lots of gifts and attention. And apparently that means a heart event too, which I forgot about. I've been playing Journey of the Prairie King for hours and I can't even beat the first level. Have you tried not sucking? Now that we've got that riveting heart event out of the way, what would, what would happen if I spent all night in the graveyard? You think anyone would want to see me naked in the graveyard? Well, that escalated quickly. Uh, maybe Sebastian. Only weirdos. It's the same thing. Maybe Sebastian. I'll make sure to film it then. Yeah, okay, just let me know when you're doing that. I thought it would have maybe been a few more hearts before she started revealing that kind of information. Does it ever not rain anymore? I'm gonna have to start changing the weather myself, because every day it rains and then Abigail doesn't come out of her house, and it's not very interesting if she's sitting in her house all day. We need to bring her outside and share her stupidity with the world. Good morning, weirdo. Oh, hi. Do you ever hang out at the cemetery? It's a peaceful place to play with yourself in public. I'm growing more concerned about you by the day. But yes, I do. I'm actually getting pretty concerned at this point that I can't even move her up the heart meter anymore because what she's already saying is pretty crude. But uh, let's see what she's got today. Oh hi new mumps, taking a break from your work? You are my work. Me too. I do an online show without clothes. Yeah, I think we've pretty much established that. I do an online show with clothes. Or do I? I bet you're actually really good at dancing. I really hate dancing in front of everyone. It's so embarrassing. Yeah, why do I not believe you? Mum makes me do it. Well, that's weird. 
Regardless of all that stuff I wasn't paying much attention to, will you be my dance partner? No offense, but I don't think you can handle me. Sorry, I handled the whole town just fine, thanks. I've never noticed your blue eyes. And the game gave up on me. I'm stuck in bed blinking, and turn some of my mods on and off, can't move. Keep in mind, your father is standing right there. I usually don't like people I know to watch me, but I can give you a link to my site. Hmm, no thanks. Okay, well let's move her up to four or even six hearts to get even more dialogue that I'm very worried about. And also, now that it's the first day of summer, she gets different seasonal dialogue and I can't wait to see what this is. So do you just never leave the house anymore? It's summer, you should be out doing stuff. Summer's here, it's not really my favorite season, and you're not really my favorite person. This all works so much better if you'd actually leave the house or have some diversity in your life. And here I thought she was actually leaving the store for once. You're an interesting guy, new mums. I'm glad you moved here. Thanks. All right, you know what? Let's just go all the way to six hearts, because four hearts isn't that exciting anyway. Even on a sunny Saturday, the middle of summer, she wants to sit in the kitchen. I went to the beach last night after dark. Now there's sand all up in there. Well, at least that'll make the crabs feel at home. So annoying. I wouldn't know anything about that. That's what you get for making weird choices. Of course it's raining. On one of the few days, she might actually be coaxed out of her house. Wow, what a surprise. She's walking to the kitchen. Abigail? Belly looks more interesting in the rain, don't you think? No, I do not. And neither do you, because you never leave your house anyways. I was expecting more from summer. Let's try fall. Does Abigail come outside on a sunny autumn day? Hey, she does. What do you got for me? I can't wait to see some pumpkins this year. The Spirit Seed Festival happens at the end of the season. It's pretty low-key compared to what you'd see in Zuzu City, but for a small town like this, it's a lot of fun. I'm not sure if that's new dialogue or not, but it's nothing particularly exciting. Alright, dirtbag, give me something good. Do you have any scarecrows on your farm? No. You know what? Just tell me everything. Let's get it over with. I wish the season lasted a little longer. When the wind really picks up, it feels good under my skirt. Well, if that doesn't wake you up, I don't think anything will. I don't know if your daughter got it from you or the wizard, but she has some interesting qualities. It's a fine looking day. Yeah, apparently as long as the wind is blowing. We're gonna do this right here. That way if you say anything too bad, we can just cleanse it with fire. Hi, your hair looks sexy today. Did you do something different? Well, I haven't showered in about three months, so that probably has some kind of effect. Maybe instead of hearing what you have to say today, we'll just kind of follow you around for a while. It's not stalking if you're friends. You know, I could actually see myself becoming a farmer one day. Uh, I wouldn't. But how would that ever happen, wink? I'll ask a farmer if I ever meet one. Oh, but before I forget, you need one of these. That way I can actually move her all the way up to 10 hearts. Currently she's at 8, and the dialogue is kind of hit and miss. I'm hoping 10 hearts really gives us some good stuff. And just like that, 10 whole hearts. Which means we have dialogue for Thursday and Friday, provided it's not raining. What are these pillows for anyway? I had an interesting dream last night, with you in it. Naked. Was it about the time with the things in the caves? It was a good dream. Uh, how very subtle of you, thanks. I've also had to start checking the weather every day for the following day. Because if it rains, this whole thing doesn't work. Back to my talking pillow. Good morning. Will I see you tomorrow at the Halloween festival? Look for me in the haunted maze. Maybe we could liven it up a bit, wink. Well, I do happen to know a way to escape right out of it, so we can talk to your dad and that other guy. Maybe I'm interpreting that wrong. Well, see you later. I guess we'll just move into winter. Where we don't get a ton of exciting dialogue to play with, but what do you expect? It's winter in Stardew Valley. Today we're going to use this pillow. Well, all is over. Hey, maybe you're not so dull after all. Alright, now I had to change the time and warp through the snow to get here, so you'd better make this good. Does it get cold at night at your farm? My bed's always warm, and you're invited. Well, I mean, I've got time now. What is that on the floor? New mums, I was going to tell you about my crush on you. Yeah, using my detective skills, I already figured that out. But would you rather just have me show you my Or there's other things. Like your underwear? Great. How about today, my friend? You ever get lonely on your farm? I could help you with that. Well, since you're offering. Robin, I'm going to need some extra space to bring in a crazy person. Actually, if we could have a cage installed too, that would actually be pretty good. Well, this should still give me lots of room to avoid her when I want to. Any last words? You're an interesting guy, new mumps. I'm glad you moved here. Well, I'm glad you moved onto my farm with me. Three days from now, I'm a very lucky person. The best part is, I forgot my skip wedding mod, so I actually have to sit through this yet again. At least this way, I'll always know where to find her. Except for today, when she's not here. 
our first rainy day marriage dialogue, and I couldn't be more worried about this. Hey, I woke up early and did some exploring my own. I found this and it reminded me of you. You gave me a rock. Think you can find something better than that? I'm not so sure. I could find a better wife, I know that much. Well, yeah, let's just go ahead and put that where it belongs and try this again tomorrow. We'll pretend this day didn't even happen. Is she dead? That would honestly save me some trouble. I'm going into town today. Just so you know, I need to stretch these legs a bit. Well, that was... boring. Well, it looks like the marriage dialogue just doesn't work anymore. Thanks for watching.